Well, hello, hello, I'm back. And this time I am talking about faith-based projects. Yes, Nicole McGuire Media over the years has participated in all sorts of faith-based projects, including helping churches with their marketing. We have also done our share of spiritual books. We have also been a part of uh, live events. I personally, inspirational speaker and also a panelist for discussions related to the Bible, as well as just people problems, okay? So lots of interesting things I've done over the years when it comes to faith-based projects, and I'm also a certified Sunday school teacher. So I have done my share of um, going through the scriptures and taking the scriptures and applying them to uh, modern day life issues and what uh, God uh, does in terms of um, these uh, challenges and what we can do in terms of building a relationship with him. Now, when it comes to a faith-based project though, there are various questions that one must ask, okay? And these are things that I have asked myself before I have um, before I've um, participated in speeches um, and studies and that is what Bible are we going to be quoting out of okay <laughs> that's first and foremost if we're going to be quoting scriptures which one are we going to use and it boils down to the audience so I have the Living Bible right so I have utilized the Living Bible uh, because it has been quite simple in terms of um, just communicating um, with an audience that does not like uh, the King James Version of the Bible. Doesn't quite understand it, doesn't go over too well, but I do have my King James, okay? there. This one, though, is a new King James Version, and this one, um, you still have the, the text, but um, like the like the King James Version, it's just easier to understand. But there are those that are the die hard, right? Holy Bible, King James through and through. So I have that one. And then I've also used my life application Bible. I've used that to uh, convey uh, thoughts um, to make it plain because sometimes the scripture can be confusing for some individuals. And this one is the New International Version. So anytime you reach out to me for faith-based projects, I'm going to be using any one of these uh, books. Now, for those of you all who you too work with various uh, believers of the faith, the key is, is that you need to know what they are what they're preaching, teaching, um, you using, okay? Um, when you do that, then it makes it easier um, for you to be able to write the thoughts um, down, to organize the thoughts, to put the thoughts in the book, to put the thoughts over audio, um, to put them on a graphic design, uh, might be creating a t-shirt or something like that. Usually, though, I want to brainstorm to find out what are we trying to do? Are we sticking with the church's brand or is this a person who has an individual project and it is theme based and it's just for a season? Uh, one particular church uh, that I helped out with, they every single year had what they call a, a craft fair. And so the theme of the craft fair was a Christmas theme. And so uh, usually they were using colors of red and green, and then they wanted um, folks to know about it. And so the, liter the literature that they had given me, my job was to make sure that all of the major sites knew about their craft fair coming up. So I didn't even have to design uh, the flyer. But uh, there are those uh, projects where if you're going to be designing, um, of course, we're asking those questions. You know, what colors are you using? What font size? Um, what sorts of symbols are we using? Because 
Maybe it's not necessarily a Christmas theme, but it might be faith-based where we're not using trees and ornaments, but we're using the cross and we're using um, the, um, the uh, images of uh, Joseph, Mary, the three wise men, and Jesus as a baby, you see. So just making sure that you're asking those questions. Another thing too is that when you're dealing with a faith-based project, and if you are a believer, you know to pray always to pray to make sure that uh you know god is indeed in the plan and you'll find that sometimes god he will give you insight that your client um might not have ever thought about and so those times are definitely um uplifting because we're of value we are definitely helping them um to achieve the results that they're after uh, sometimes the results don't come right away, right? Um, it's a process. I have uh, spoken um, in another audio where it took me about uh, nine plus years before I seen any money from my faith-based uh, YouTube channel, okay? So when someone comes along and they say, well, I want a channel, okay, well, we need to make sure that uh, we do extensive research in terms of what your competitors are doing and, um, you know, what is the premise behind your channel? Uh, is it going to be the type of channel that is going to be maybe a cooking channel, a tutorial cha uh, channel, um, a funny channel, you know, what kind of channel? And then we need to do some research and find out who has similar channels and how um, they are getting their uh, subscribers, followers. Oftentimes, people are putting a lot of money into these YouTube channels, okay? Um, and when they are putting a lot of money into the YouTube channels, um, they are getting the types of results that uh, they're after. You get what you pay for. And so for some individuals, when they want to be cheap about some things, well, you're going to end up... Um, not getting as much traffic, right? Uh, cost savings measures you know, for some folks, they like to call it, but at the end of the day, um, you know, that's why some things don't work out because we do, we do act a bit cheap about some things. I know I have over the years, but uh, it's for good reason oftentimes, right? It's because you got other bills to pay. <laughs> it's because you're just starting out. So, if uh, someone does have a faith-based project and uh, you might need some help with the social media um, aspect of it, you might need some help with the content. Uh, I know that I've had to supply quite a bit of material to websites over the years because people just simply didn't have the time, okay, to write up all of it. And even with the various AI tools, you still need the time to go over all of what AI is kicking out. I found that sometimes AI is not accurate and that sort of thing can uh, land some people in hot, in hot water. So you definitely want to have a researcher on board to go over all of that material that you got from AI if, if you were one of those who did that sort of thing. So... I hope that this is helpful in terms of one, you know, a little bit about me. I am a believer and uh, you also know too that I've worked with faith-based projects and you've also got a bit of information that can inspire you for your project. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share, and we will be providing another video, hopefully that will um, be of most benefit to you.